the compass mode of this watch now to enter the compass mode uh, on this watch uh, it's done whilst in standard timekeeping mode or one of the sensor modes and the sensor modes are alti barrel and compass uh, again we are entering the compass mode so press the compass button but first of all you have to align your watch horizontally and the uh, place the watch on a flat surface and if you're wearing the watch make sure that your uh, wrist is horizontal as i said previously and point uh, the 12 o'clock position to the of the watch to in the direction who are you who's uh, reading you want to take now press the compass button to start and the comp will uh, appear and you saw it as when i pressed it now uh, these and while I'm, whilst I'm rotating the watch about one second after you press the compass button pointers the three graphic segments for the north and though they are, they are the, the, that's the north of three dots or the three components that's uh, that's uh, how north is inscribed north is inscribed on this watch uh, and all the other segments are the other sides of the words Direction will also be indicated by a literal direction indicators and by a uh, uh, Selection angle now. I'm gonna put you put a graphic on this video so you can get a better understanding of the watch On or the how how this watch functions now uh, digital compass readings uh, Now we have uh, disengaged the compass mode uh, as I said previously, the auto switch is in a, is disabled during the 60 seconds that the digital compass readings are being taken. Uh, and now I'm gonna put in the table that shows the meaning of each and every direction abbreviations that appear on the display. The margin of error for uh, angular value of the direction is plus or minus 11 degrees, while the watch is uh, horizontal. Um, if the indicated direction is northwest and 350 degrees, for example, the action the actual direction can be anywhere for from uh, 304 to 326 degrees. Uh, you can calibrate the bearing sensor if you suspect the direction of reading is incorrect. <coughs> Sorry for that. Now. This watch is a, has a tracking mode, so it's very complicated uh, and it has a bi-directional um, calibration and the bearing uh, sensor. So uh, if I would do that, this video will take a very long time, but uh, that's the basics of your sensor or the compass sensor mode. Now, if you want to know more, type in the uh, manual 3443 and you can find very detailed instructions on how to use it. Taking the barometric pressure and temperature readings. Now you can enter the um, barometric uh, mode from any of the sensor modes or the standard timekeeping mode. And now I'm currently in the standard timekeeping mode, so I'm gonna press the barrel button. And the barrel will, uh, and you saw the barrel, uh, barrel on the upper uh, screen. And the that's indicating that the barometric pressure and temperature readings are in progress on the middle screen we have a barometric pressure for in the hectopascals and the lower screen shows the temperature in the degrees of celsius now after you press the barrel button the watch will take readings every five seconds for the first three minutes and then every two minutes after that uh, the watch will return to timekeeping mode if you do not perform any operation for about one hour after entering the barometric mode now barometric pressure barometric pressure is displayed um, in the units of one hectopascals the displayed barometric pressure <coughs> sorry for that value changes to the three dots so there's no uh, there's no readout if a measured pre barometric pressure falls outside the range of 260 to 1100 hectopascals uh, the temperature is displayed in units of celsius or fahrenheit as i previously said 
and the displayed value uh, will vary from minus 10 degrees to 64 degrees Celsius. Uh, you can also change the um, units as I've done it in the uh, previous segment of the video. Now, a significant part of this watch is the barometric pressure graph, those uh, dots on the upper screen. Now, barometric pressure indicates the changes in the atmosphere. By monitoring these changes, you can predict the weather with a reasonable accuracy. This watch takes barometric uh, pressure readings automatically every two hours, and the readings are used to produce the barometric pressure graph and barometric pressure differential pointer readings. The um, barometric pressure, uh, the, the barometric uh, pressure graph, or reading the barometric pressure graph. Uh, well, it shows a chrono chronological history of pressure readings. Um, you can use it to predict whether the weather is going to be uh, bad or good. Uh, but uh, the most, the significant this thing is this uh, barometric pressure differential pointer. That's the this dot over here. Now this um, pointer indicates the relative difference between the most recent barometric pressure reading indicated on the barometric pressure graph and the current barometric pressure value displayed in the uh, this mode. Now, uh, I'm gonna put in the screenshot for you to understand, to better understand the uh, values that this uh, graph will show you. And wait for it. I'm gonna uh, say that uh, this dot will move from move from the um, lower part of the watch screen to the upper part of the watch screen. Let me just tap in the focus button. There it is, and. Uh, now, whilst that dot is the uh, moving from this segment to the upper part of the, let's say, number 10 over here, it means the current pressure is greater than most recent measured pressure. And the, when it's moving down, the current pressure less than uh, most recent measured pressure. Now, we can see the current pressure is uh, uh, pretty much the same as the uh, recent measurement. That would be the barometric pressure differential pointer. Now, your watch analyzes the uh, past barometric pressure readings and uses a barometric uh, pressure change indicator to inform you about changes in pressure. If it determines uh, there has been a significant change in pressure, it will beep and all of the graphic segments around the periphery of the watch will flash as the barometric pressure changes alert. And <coughs> Sorry again, but um, that would be basically the barometric mode of this watch. The altimeter mode, now, whilst in the standard timekeeping mode, well, I'm not, and there are now I'm in the standard timekeeping mode, push the LT button, and um, now we have activated the um, altimeter mode on this watch. Now, before actually taking any altitude reading, you need to select an altitude screen format and select an altitude reading interval. You can select these two screen formats on the um, altimeter mode. I'm going to put in the screenshot so you can see what I'm talking about. Altitude tendency graphs are updated every time you take the um, altitude reading. That's the first screen, let's say a first screen. Graph units are 10 meters and the, on the vertical axis. And the um, measurement reading interval, one second or five seconds or two minutes on the horizontal axis. So this is that's the um, graph we are talking right now. To take readings of the difference between the altitude at your current location and the altitude of the reference, for, uh, reference point, select screen two. Uh, Using the using an altitude differential value uh, for more information. Now I'm gonna put in another screenshot so you can see what those three two screens are. Now to uh, select your screen format in the altimeter mode, press the uh, adjust button and hold it until the set hold 
and the ulti starts to, to flash now press the uh, lower left or the mode button uh, twice and there it is now use the um, lower right button to shuffle between the uh, one screen one and uh, screen two selecting the um, altitude auto readings now um, you can either select the uh, when you're finished press the uh, upper or the adjust button and now, now we are at the screen two now I'm gonna get it back to screen one shuffling just and we are at the screen one again now you can select either of the following uh, two altitude auto reading interventional uh, interval sorry uh, and it's indicated by the five second and two minute uh, readout on the your main screen and I'm gonna show you uh, now the five second readings are at one uh, readings are uh, at one second intervals for the first three minutes and then every five seconds or approximately the next hour now the two minute uh, that's not two minute readings that's the two minute indicated on the main screen and that stands for readings at one intervals for the first three minutes and then every two minutes for approx approximately next 12 hours now to select an uh, altitude auto reading interval in the altimeter mode whilst in the altimeter mode uh, hold down e button uh, sorry uh, upper adjust button adjust button for two at least two seconds and the set hold will appear on your screen now the LT is shown on the upper screen and now uh, press the um, lower right but lower left button uh, to display the current and sh search for interval and the um, use the lower one button to shuffle between the five minute five second or two minute readout intervals i'm gonna leave it at the five second interval and now press the uh, adjust button to exit the settings and back to the altimeter mode and those are the um, basic operations